welcome back and of course it's the 32nd anniversary of regaining Taba one of the most important Egyptian lands and we all know that Taba was back by arbitration not through war and this is of great importance to Egypt of course one of the most important uh, actually parts of Egypt and on the Wednesday Major General Khalid Fouda governor of South Sinai toured the city of Taba just to follow up on the final preparations for the celebration of the 32nd anniversary of Taba's return to the Egyptian lands of course this is in the presence of a number of security and executive leaders in the governorate. So over the phone, we have Dr. Hassan Wagi, his professor of political science. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good morning, sir. Fine. Good so morning. I'd like you to, to give us just an idea again how important it is when it comes to Taba and how the way that Egypt was able to regain Taba is, of course, one of the most important parts. And people were studying this, let me put it like this, when it comes to uh, political science in general. Yeah, actually, this is a bright history uh, for the entire world because uh, Taba constitutes an excellent example of how Egypt went through negotiation, then mediation, uh, when Carter mediated uh, uh, a peace treaty uh, with President Sadat and Menachem Begin. And when it comes to the last part that we should have our sovereignty on, uh, yes, uh, Egypt went for arbitration. So the example is really unique and really needs to be disseminated for win-win negotiation and then good mediation, uh, reasonable mediation, and uh, arbitration. So from the political science uh, perspective, yes, we can teach this as a world example. Uh, one of the rare uh, uh, situations where diplomacy reigned uh, and I hope that the whole world will learn from it and I hope this will be inspiring for us also to solve all the problems. I think just as you mentioned when it comes to diplomacy, this is one of the best examples of the role of diplomacy can play uh, between countries in general. And if you can tell us um, or just uh, shed the light on this and also shed the light on how all Egyptians felt at that time and celebrated regaining Taba. Yes, I think that was a great uh, day in the history of Egypt uh, because actually uh, when we put uh, scrutiny on the process that Egypt has gone through to regain uh, one of its dearest uh, spot, uh, land spot, I think that uh, that shows us how uh, we were able to succeed in group dynamics, in team building, and in manifesting the different rules. Arbitration is very tough for anyone because it, it implies hidden negotiation. You try to imagine what are the arguments that will be presented to the, to the judges uh, and then try to make stronger arguments than the opponent's uh, argument. So I think that was a very smart and very uh, well-managed uh, uh, activity where we have a, a very good number in a big team uh, we, we remember great names like uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Abdel Halim Badawi uh, uh, and uh, many, many of them, doctor, uh, uh, doctors in history, in political science, in uh, geopolitics, uh, and in negotiation, uh, a group of uh, smart uh, contributors who really played a very good uh, teamwork game and manage it to achieve uh, an excellent example worldwide. Sir, I always say in such occasions that just take the opportunity to all parents that we need to sit with our children to tell them more about our history and to teach them how Taba was back and the importance of Taba, the importance of Sinai, this uh, precious land to Egypt, all about this. How do you see or how important it is? Actually, it should be there, as you have already recommended, because it is very inspiring uh, if we use the mind uh, with our 
military power that we really that really enabled us to to reach that state and to sit on the table and to get our rights back. I think uh, this shows that Egypt uh, has already built strong military power and strong diplomatic mind. And this is a very, very uh, good uh, mix, a very good uh, combination of the two things uh, that would inspire kids and the new generation of doing the work in teamwork, uh, to be proud of their country, to be proud uh, of all these kind of victories. But, uh, you know, what we really need, we need another uh, film, another uh, world uh, research paper uh, to, to disseminate the idea because it shows that Egypt, uh, since the early dawn of history, uh, would carry the, the torch of civilization and diplomatic behavior. And you know, uh, I'm the the third uh, when it comes to the very uh, to the very old history uh, of Egyptian civilization. You know that people who are really engaged in political science and talking about diplomacy, they consider Amnon Hotep the third the father of uh, diplomacy. So we have to, to cultivate that in our, the minds of our children. We have a strong uh, cultural heritage that we should be proud of. We should cultivate it back so as we can meet the, the very tough challenges uh, in the future. Uh, and you see the world is having uh, challenges with unprecedented pace. I think uh, Taba is a very good uh, hub for us to, to stand for a while and to, to look back at it with great pride and with great learned lessons. Right, uh, Dr. Hassan Wagih, Professor of Political Science, thank you very much for joining us. And I guess with this, we come to the end of our breakfast show for today. Thank you all for joining us. And remember, join us again tomorrow, same time, for more on the breakfast show. Till then, thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up on Nile TV International. Mm -hmm.